What's going on YouTube? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. And I was recently contacted by a company that wanted me to uh, see if I liked their headlights. So I've been actually looking to get new headlights for this and they are LED, which is what I was planning on getting. Uh, obviously I did not purchase this product myself. It is something they wanted to send to me to see what I thought about it. So. It's supposed to be an easy plug and play kind of thing, so <clears throat> we'll see how it works, see if there's a difference. But something else new I'm kind of starting, if you guys are watching this video, like, comment, subscribe like always, but if you do comment and you leave a really nice comment, really awesome comment, something positive, I'm trying to keep positivity in my life, you have a chance of me going through and going, you know what, I like that comment, I like where that guy's coming from, and I'll pin your comment up to the top of everyone else's comments so it can be seen by everybody. And Hopefully you can get some new interactions that way. But uh, let's get into it, man. So the company's name is Smautop, I guess is how you would say it. S-M-A-U-T-O-P is the brand. And these are LED H13s for my vehicle takes H13s. These are a LED headlight conversion. And on this kit, and the reason I went with these from the other options they have, and they have a lot of options, is it has interchangeable glass. The LEDs are all a regular color, but the glasses that wrap around it, you can change. So if you want like that really bright white, or you wanna go into the 10K and get that really good bluish white color, you can change the lenses and get that. But let's show you guys what kind of goes on in this. And it should be self-explanatory for the most part. You got your little manual, you got your little card of different things going on, instruction manuals, how to install. Should be simple. Uh, the light bulbs are supposed to be plug and play. Twist in, you have your connectors for your stock truck just to mount right into these with your adapters for LED. And like I said, these have the interchangeable glass like these right here are the 10K, which is the brilliant blue. I see a 3000K, which is like your golden yellow. All interchangeable. And I already went and changed these glass right now. They have the 10,000K brilliant blues in it. So uh, let's start off by, hmm, maybe getting the old ones out? Uh -huh. You guys gotta remember each vehicle is different on my truck. I have to take out the actual headlight unit that actually slides out, it's three bolts. And on your truck it might be easier, on your car it might be easier, as easy as twisting some out. But I gotta move these. I got this big old intake, I got this big old engine in here blocking everything. So I'm gonna figure out what size these bolts are. We're gonna slide this head unit out, disinstall the bulb that's in there, and reapply with said LED bulbs. Let's find the right tools we need. I guess. Did you get that on camera? I just wung it. Just straight out of the... God handed it down and grabbed it. It's like 10 millimeter. Oh, it is. You're right. Let's just use this real tiny wrench because that's how Randy rolls. Randy rolls. It could have been like an old wrestler's name. Now, you always want to tighten it first. Ugh. And that, you know, breaks, ugh, breaks loose all the pressure that's inside there. I think I'm still tightening it. Now, let's... Ugh. <sighs> but guys, you gotta remember this is real labor intensive. Hey look, a spark arrestor. I rescued Randy one day. He's like, man, this thing don't start. Let's pop that, pop that uh, spark arrestor. I bet this sucker runs good. It runs good now, doesn't it? Told you, man. I think it's gummed up. That's that EPA. You got an impact anywhere? What is this tool? People use tools like this anymore? How long is this bolt? Does it go down into my tranny? Jeez. Let's try the hand. Oh, I got it. That's an eight foot long bolt right there. I measured it. Why is that so long? Because uh, it's an F-150. Uh, there's so much horsepower in here. If you use a lot of the smaller bolts, like the Dodges and Chevys, they use a lot of the smaller bolts. Uh, the engines on those vehicles just don't have the power really to uh, you know, have any issues, but Ford's gotta use the really, really long bolts, real stout bolts for all the power, especially these Coyotes. They put out a lot of power, man. The manufacture, distribution, packaging, and marketing of bullshit. And the reason it's called a Coyote, a lot of people don't know that, is uh, I believe it's FEMA. FEMA or PETA, one of those people were against it. Originally it was gonna be the Penguin 3000, but 
There was a lot of stuff going on with global warming, so they went on with Coyote instead of the original, you know, Penguin 3000. So it'll be good, man. <laughs> and the third bolt's tucked back here under this horsepower flap. This is what actually keeps all the horsepower in the engine and doesn't let it come out so you're not wasting horsepower, which uh, I believe I, yeah, I got duct taped in there because that's how much power it's got. I have to get those three bolts out on this sweet 2011 Ford F-150 FX4. It's as easy as uh, popping that out. And uh, taking said bulb out and replacing it with LED, which is something I believe we are going to do. Get this clip off of there. Like a little jiggle. You can do it however you want to. I'm, I'm a fan of the jiggle. There's no way I twisted this in there that tight. I'm telling you, dude, it's a horsepower thing. See, and these I purchased, Randy, because I was looking for a bluish light, which the guy at uh, AutoZone, because they're real, you know, thorough and know what they're talking about there. He's like, yeah, these are going to give you that blue. These are almost yellowish white. So that guy can take this bulb hot, super hot, and jam it, you know, where the trash can, because I'm done with them. All right, guys, this is the small U-top S-M-A-U-T-O-P-L-E-D light bulb for the truck. Like I said, these are H13s. They have a built-in fan for cooling. LED does run a little hotter, especially when you're talking about 10K output and different things like that. Um, you have a little adapter here. It's probably for voltage or amps or watts or one of those electrical terms. And uh, you got a connection right here for your stock plug and play. Now there's probably multiple ways to do this, but I have really fat fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the adapter off just as easy as untwisting it and sliding it on through. I'm gonna set this ball aside on some metal stuff just in case you know it wants to break. I'm gonna put the adapter in there and then plug the bulb in because I got them fat fingers I was talking about which I still might not even be able to twist this. Uh, I... So we got the adapter into the mount where it goes into the headlights. Now it's as easy as feeding this through where the two lines match up on the back of the adapter and snapping it right there in place. Then you can just hook up your stock unit to the provided mounting adapter and you're all good to put this back in and bolt it up. So I'm gonna bolt this back up. I'm gonna turn these headlights on so you can see the difference between the two. Even though you didn't see the stock ones originally, you're getting ready to here in a second compared to the new ones. So let's get this back in there. You ready? Randy, ready? Go. Randy. Yes. You ready for me to turn the headlights on? Yes. You want the headlights on? On. repeat the steps I did over there over here which is the three bolts uh, I got to keep my horsepower keeper you know manageable uh, so I'm gonna pop this out take the old bulb out put the adapter in put the bulb in I'm gonna turn both of these on so you guys can see what they look like want to know a secret these LED bulbs are so good they show me how crappy that these shells are how many scuffs and scratches and little nicks and imperfections are in these god I got to try to buff some of this out they look horrible but the lights look gorgeous I love that color I'm one of those people that has a hard time driving at night my eyes aren't really good I see the bright whites and the blues a lot better than I do with that dull white and that yellow and I just feel like this will help me when it comes to driving and just being able to see a lot better. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I want to appreciate uh, Small Utop, S M A U T O P, for sending these out to let me give them a try and kind of see what they're like. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to check out any of those. Um, I love the lighting stuff. You guys know I got the light bar and other stuff like that in the truck. Like I've said before, my eyes aren't the greatest. I wear contacts. I got to wear glasses at home. My eyes are junk. The lower whites and the yellows, I don't see really good. They kind of blur out my eyes. The blues and the bright whites, I see great. So I think these are actually going to help me drive at night. And not only that, they look cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And I, bad eyes over here, we will see you in the next one.